what was it like having, you know, such a, a big figure like Daryl Strawberry as your father growing up? Oh my gosh, having Daryl Strawberry as my father growing up was so tough. Um, I got criticized a lot, I got teased, and then that forced my mom to just really crack down on me and smother me and try to keep me away from everything. And once I turned 18, I, you know, I wilded out, acted a little crazy. Like, what do you mean by wilded out? Um, you know, once my mom didn't have a say so in my life and I was able to do what I wanted, I started partying, you know, having fun, you know, just you know, not rebelling, but just really enjoying freedom. Sure. You know, now, you know, at one point it seemed like, you know, your father was in your life, but then, you know, he was out of your life. I mean, what at what point in your life did that start to change where your father wasn't around as much anymore? When he wasn't around, um, I would say probably like in the fourth, fifth grade, you know, I stopped seeing him as much, um, as much, sorry. He got remarried, you know, had other kids and was, you know, into his things at the time. So he didn't reach out to me as much. Mm -hmm. And how hard was that to deal with? Um, I had already built up such an anger towards him because I was criticized for his mistakes. So it just, it kind of made it easy not to have to deal with him, you know? I was so upset that, and even the fact that he wasn't around, I mean, it bothered me because every little girl needs her father, but I was just like, okay, whatever, fine. I don't have to deal with you. I don't have to deal with your foolish, foolishness anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, what do you think was, you know, the hardest thing that, that you really dealt with, with, you know, your father growing up? From him or other people? Well, with him. Um, just really seeing that my father was not in his right mind at times. That was the worst. You know, when I wanted that relationship with him, when I reached out, you know, he, he wasn't himself. And I didn't get that love that I needed, which, you know, forced me to rebel a little bit. But yeah, that, that was the worst. Needing him and wanting him and he rejected me. You know, and I don't even think he rejected me intentionally because, again, he wasn't in his right mind, so. Yeah, you know, and I, I heard the, uh, the Combat Jack show, you know, that you guys did together. I thought that was, you know, very, very cool. It seemed like he really kind of owns up to all his mistakes. You know, he doesn't try to deny anything that happened but, and really has tried to really reestablish with you guys. Right. Um, I really respect the fact that he's not hiding the fact that he had a problem. He's not lying about it. You know, he's owning up. And, you know, one thing he said on the Combat Jack show, it, it almost made me just start crying. He said, you know what, Diamond, I've made mistakes. I'm sorry. I love you. You know, we can't get that time back, but I'm here now. And that meant a lot because, believe it or not, my dad never apologized for all that he has put me through as a child. So that really touched my heart just to hear him say, I'm sorry. My dad would reach out to me and I would reject him. And he's saying like, you know, I love you. Why are you mad? Like, you can't take back all the, the things you did, all the things you said, all the pain you caused. Yeah, I know you love me, but you weren't there. So um, he's finally coming around to owning up to everything. And I, I really respect him for that. Oh, very cool. Now, how difficult, you know, was it to deal with all of his arrests and so forth? Because I think the first one happened in, in 99, and then there was 2000, 2002. Like, there was a whole, you know, within a three-year three time period, there was all these very high-profile arrests, you know, with your dad. It was terrible. Terrible. I just wanted to stay in the house. I used to act like I was sick so my mom wouldn't make me go to school because the kids teased me so bad. They would bring the newspapers and like flash it in my face, you know, call my dad names and, you know, saying I'm going to be just like him. And oh my God, that's really bringing back some really terrible memories, actually. That, that sucked to see my dad in such a negative light. <laughs> 